All right, guys. Today we're working on a 2002 Ford Freestar. Uh, customer complaint was a uh, grinding noise from the front and last AC. So right now I'm doing the evacuating the system. So. Uh, but I'm working on that, so I want to show you what what we had to do, well, what I have to do. So this is the compressor. Let me see. So it was completely dry. No, no oil at all. You can see what the problem was. See all the play. So the bearing got shot but see it got it got locked it was so dry that just the compressor got room when they tried to turn the AC on it just uh, it'll stop from turning and start smelling uh, something burns so it was a bell because it couldn't turn when the compressor kicked on so so I want to show you what important is to to replace your this is the expansion valve this one goes in the back since it's a band it has a rear AC so that's that's the old one so I replaced the accumulator dryer as well also no oil nothing at all all dry and an important thing to replace the orifice too. Look at this. Let's see if the camera focus a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna do it or not. Doesn't like it, I guess. But you can see it's completely, completely clogged. You can see all the metal shavings right here and the debris. So the screen is completely plugged. You know, if I would have replaced just the compressor and I replaced this expansion, I mean the expansion valve is that one. But this is the artifice too. So this van is equipped with two of them. So now I want to show you where they're located for somebody that doesn't know where they are. So I got everything already replaced. Like I said, I'm doing the evacuating right now. So the artifice too is located right here in this line. So it's right here. You just take apart here. Take it apart from here and from the top here. And it'll be inside here in this area. As you can see that's all everything has to come apart just to get to the out of the stove down there and this is the accumulator dryer which I got the new one in place already new o-rings and of course a new compressor so if you guys can see this guy down here so that's the, that's the compressor so that's ready and already set up with oil and Oil my accumulator dryer and the what if it's tube down there on the line over there so so that's what it needs to come apart just to get to the orifice tube so let me show you what I had to take apart so this is all what it needs to come apart to get to it so let me show you the expansion valve where is it located this one is on the back because this one has a rear AC. So that's where the other evaporator is. So this is this is where it's, where it's located. See, that's the whole unit. So this is the expansion valve. That goes here in the back. So that's the rear evaporator and fan for the AC, the rear AC. That controls the cool in the back of the band. So that's what it needs to get apart there to get to it. So
so all the trim has to come off and some from the other side too just to get to this guy over there so that's where we are so I want to finish evacuating the system and check for leaks and make sure everything is good and I want to charge it and, and see how it works so this is what it takes to to replace and where the locations are the orifice tube and the expansion valve and cumulator drive and compressor you know so I just wanted to show you guys so for somebody that doesn't know where they're located so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.